Tonight, Whitney Young's beloved principal says she's stepping down. CBS 2's Dramont Terry caught up with the longtime leader to find out what's next. The person that's going to be after me is going to be somebody who has the same values as I did. Speaking to her assistant principals and local school council members, the leader at Whitney Young Magnet School prepares to say goodbye. I, and I'm trying to be funny, but there, there's not going to be another Joyce Kenner. We, we, we all get that. For 27 years, Dr. Joyce Kenner has led and kept the CPS Westside Magnet School top ranked. It is a selective enrollment school, and so these are coveted spots here. But one spot will soon be vacant. After nearly 30 years of walking these halls, when did the reality hit that it was time to close the door for good? Well, it was really about my family. I have a three-year-old uh, granddaughter. I have a grandson on the way, wow. and I'm sure that my son is going to and his wife are going to need me. When Kenner became principal, Paul Ballas was CEO of CPS. The district has gone through nine interim and permanent CEOs in her tenure. New high schools were built, yet Whitney Young remained sought after by students. So what does Kenner credit to that? Some of the things that I felt were important here at Whitney Young, I, I did not allow to change. Like what? Um, she has students with hats in the building. And I know that sounds trivial, but I tell the students all the time, when we were, prepare, we were, we were preparing you guys for college, and if you have college interviews, you can't walk into a college interview with a hat on. She believes the teacher's dedication is key and wants whoever takes over to understand the commitment to academic excellence. We're not looking for somebody just to elevate their career and move on after two or three years. As to why Kenner stayed so long and did not move up or on? They never offered me the CEO's position for Chicago Public Schools. So that was the only position that I ever wanted other than this job. Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.